Australia's largest plastics manufacturer has been hit hard by soaring energy costs. About 40% of Quenos's gas supply is bought on the open market. Prices have gone up in the spot market 300 to 400%, but this isn't just an issue for, for manufacturers, it's also an issue for consumers. Most energy intensive businesses are on cheaper long-term contracts, but Steve Bell says if prices don't come down, it won't just be 750 jobs at his company that are on the line. Our competition uh, is from overseas and if we don't have competitive inputs with what our competition has, uh, we can't compete in the market. Typically manufacturers on contract rates pay around $10 a gigajoule. Those relying on the spot market are now paying $40 a gigajoule after the Australian energy market operator imposed temporary price caps after spot prices skyrocketed, particularly in Melbourne's market after supply concerns. We've got to remember that the continued investment in our energy sector here in Australia is the best way of providing long-term long certainty for customers. The war in Ukraine has exacerbated a global energy shortage. The prices we pay for coal and gas are linked to the international market. Analyst Gilles Wagenwitz says local coal-fired power station outages are also pushing up energy prices on the East Coast. There is a disconnect there and this could be sorted by the federal government in the short term. A quick fix is for exporters to charge domestic users less. In Western Australia, 15% of liquefied natural gas available for export must be reserved for domestic use which has kept wholesale prices to around $5.5 a gigajoule. Manufacturers want help for the East Coast. The federal government should invoke the Australian domestic gas security mechanism. We have an external shock which has created severe disruption to global energy markets. But business groups warn it could affect Australia's reputation as a reliable trading partner. The federal government would also need to be ready uh, both for a very strong pushback on export controls from the domestic industry, but also they'd face uh, a lot of intense questions from our trading partners and our security allies. The Australian Industry Group says another solution is for governments to give financial assistance. We would be talking big dollars, so um, based on the proportion of households in poverty and some ballpark figures for uh, the businesses that are most exposed, we'd probably be talking three to five billion dollars of spending. Textiles maker Flickers could do with the cash. The producer of fabric for the Australian cricket team's baggy green caps is now completely exposed to the spot market after its gas retailer Western went bust. They're having trouble securing gas contracts and it is impossible to secure gas contracts at a price that is anywhere near reasonable. The escalating energy crisis is a major test for the new federal government, which spent much of the election campaign talking up local manufacturing. The industry says without an urgent response, many businesses will close. If the international price of gas has gone through the roof because of a problem in Europe, that doesn't mean we should put our gas up through the roof and force Australian manufacturers out of, out of business. Global factors affecting energy bills, analysts say, are set to drag on for years.